Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Bucket Plugin Tutorials. Uh, this is the second episode, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, deal with items when spawning them into the world in whatever way you want to. So, what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to copy the last. Um, Copy the last tutorial we did, and then we're going to want to paste it and rename it to, to 2. Um, and that way we have all the basic stuff done that we need to do, um, such as uh, setting up the naming convention. Of course, we'll need it to, re we'll need to rename it, um, but everything is already done. We've already set up the build, build path and everything. So go into here, main, and change this to a 2 and then mouse over that and change packet declaration oh no move main to package me.inline.tut2 and then delete tut1 yeah okay so now that we're here uh, we're gonna want to change this to tutorial 2 change this to tutorial 2 and then we're gonna leave that command just so it's still there what we're gonna do slash please um, and then we're gonna set up this to give um, an enchanted axe and a red piece of wool I guess so for this you're gonna wanna know um, you know what the data is for the wool for example because um, each item like when you when you mouse over wool you notice it just says wool and then the uh, the item so or like, and then it says like a, the item data. So it's all wool, but uh, it's different data. So you have to play around with that a little bit to get it the way you like. Um, yeah. So anyways, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure uh, if s uh, sender instance of player. player so if the sender is a player, because we want to make sure that they're a player before we give them an item, um, we want to import org.bucket.entity. So if the sender is a player, um, player player equals and we'll do player sender. Um, and we'll move stuff in here and toss an else in there so else um, and so this is if they aren't a player so if it's console console cannot run this command because the only options for whoever's sending is console and player um, so we'll be able to change this to player. Change this to player. We'll change this to here you go and the player name. Um, we'll add return true to this as well because we're still doing something. Um, so what we're going to do is create an item, two items in fact. So. First, you want material. So material uh, axe equals, and then of course import it. So you're gonna want org dot bucket. Uh, this will be um, this will show up on a few different things you use, but it's always best to just use org dot bucket. And then material dot, and I'm gonna use a diamond axe. So di, and then you'll see there's all kinds of suggestions here. There's everything you can play with every item you want to here. We're just going to go with Diamond Axe. Um, and then it'll go all nice and italic and bold for you. Um, but we're not just doing an axe, we're doing an enchanted axe. So, item, item. And then, of course, import that from. Uh, or .bucket .entity .item is the one you're going to want to import. There's a few options there. 
That's the one you're going to want. A new item. And then, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Because I actually haven't uh, created an item in a while. I do believe it's just material, quantity, um, material quantity good enough or no? Oh, sorry, sorry. Item stack. That's what we want to do. We want to create an item stack, not an item. So, org dev bucket dot inventory. And we can go and get rid of this one, the entity dot item. That would be an item that's on the ground, uh, rather than an inventory item. So I was correct, it is just axe, and then the quantity. So you could set this if you wanted to 64, and it would give them a stack of 64. Um, so you, you can do kind of cool, crazy things with this. Uh, we're just going to leave it as one. Um, actually, just to just have it set to three. And then item dot add enchantment. So we can go through the enchantments here. So we can do, I think it's just enchant, enchantment. There we go. So we can add all kinds of enchantments here as well. Uh, so if we wanted, we could do, you know, something that you wouldn't find on an axe so I guess arrow damage sure so that'd be power so the power five on this axe so it's not going to do anything special with this enchantment but it's going to look cool because it's sparkling um, and then we can add names and stuff so you can do item uh, to do item meta meta equals item dot get item meta and then import item meta meta dot get set display name so we're going to set display name to we'll do the chat color thing from before as well while we're here so copy that in there so chat color dot translate alternate color codes the ampersand in single quotes um, we'll name it uh, X that shouldn't exist. Yeah, the last percent parentheses. Um, so that'll add the name, and we'll add a lore as well. Dot uh, set lore. Right. Okay. So with lore, it's a little more complicated than just setting it to a string. We have to set a list of strings um, because lore is a list of strings. It's uh, multiple lines. And if it's just one line, it's still a list of one string. So we're going to do uh, list st string lore equals new array list string parentheses, same call. And then you're going to have to import. Java util, and Java util, not awt, but it, util, um, and then lore in here, and then lore dot add, and then you can do the chat color, the chat color thing again in here. So add. And then we'll make this uh, that color. I don't actually remember the color codes anymore. I think that's a blue or something. Why am I here? And then add again. So this will just keep adding on. So we could add as many lines as we really wanted to. Um, please throw me away to the wind. Wow, I'm kind of depressing right now. Um, and then so we set the lore to that uh, to that string list, and we could have it just be one. We could have it be a thousand. It doesn't matter. It'll still do it. Um, doesn't mean it won't look terrible in game, but it can exist. And next, we're gonna do. We have to add this meta back to the um, item. So do item dot set. 
uh, set item meta, and then we're just going to put meta, and then that item is done. So we'll do player dot get inventory dot add item. I think is that what we want? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then item. Yeah, and then add item will just add that item to the next available slot in their inventory. Um, if they don't have an available slot, then it'll be lost forever. So you could theoretically just add in a check to see if their inventory is full, um, if there is an available slot, things like that. But we're not going to get too deep into this today. Um, so we've added the axe, and now we'll add in the uh, wool. So material wool equals material dot and we're not going to add a name to this we're just going to do the uh, color item stack uh, wool item equals new item stack uh, wool yeah wool uh, 18 and then Give me just a sec to figure out how to add the data because I forgot. Okay, so we're gonna do byte four. semicolon at the end so like I said we're not going to be adding any special stuff to this one um, we'll add wool item so there we go so now when they type in slash please um, they'll get wool item so they'll get the red wool and they'll get the enchanted axe with the name and the lore and they'll also get a message saying who do you go player name um, so now we're going to go into the plugin.yml, update it to you know, tutorial 2, I guess. Um, says hello and gives items. I'm going to want to change this to tut2, so me dot, to your package name, so me dot in dot tut2 for me. Uh, for you, it'll be whatever's written right there at the top, so whatever that is dot and then your class name which is here so class main for me um, and then we're going to add in the command so please what description gives an awesome axe and red wool uh, for aliases so we may as well do this for this as well we'll just do plz plus um, and that's all we need to do there. So I'm going to ch change the version to 2 just for me. Uh, so once that's done, we'll just close out of that. Go back over here to Tut2, hit F5 to refresh it, just so everything is nice and uh, updated in there. Um, go to Export, right click Tut2 and go to Export. Um, go down to Java, Jar File, Next, and then you can get rid of class path and project but I always leave them in there just because it makes the jar larger and it makes it look better and um, you don't want to change this to something that doesn't exist for example tutorial 2 very complicated and you're gonna hit finish and then now that is saved um, it's in your completed jar file folder or whatever you have um, so now you can just load it in so I'm just gonna get rid of that and then drag in tutorial 2 So now that's in there. So we head over to Minecraft. Do slash reload. HPL tutorial two is there. So we do slash hello. We get the old message we used to, but now we have please. And an error has occurred. So like I did last time, um, I think we're gonna look at the error itself. So let's see here what is the problem? Null. So we're getting a null for something here. 
Um, oh, okay. So it's not allowing me to uh, put that enchantment on the item stack. So it's not allowing me to put um, power 5 onto the axe. I guess that's um, something, I don't know, I don't know exactly how this is controlled, because I've seen it done before, I just don't recall how I had done it, how I had done it, or how others had done it. But we'll just go back in, we'll just change that to enchantment dot efficient um, I think it's dig speed, dig speed five. So we just so all we did there was just change the enchantment from arrow damage to dig speed and left it at five. We'll go export next finish. And again, we're just going to go and drag that into your plugin folder. So that's there. Slash reload. Slash please. Here you go, in a mine. So now we have three axes that shouldn't exist. So I guess now they can exist. Uh, why am I here? Please throw me away to the wind. Um, it's efficiency five. And then we have yellow wool. I got the things wrong. It's supposed to be 14, not four. But it's the same theory. Um, so instead of doing four, we would put 14 right there. Light 14. And that would give us red wool. So four was yellow, but it's the same same deal. Um, so then we have our color codes and our lore and our name, and then that just had nothing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, here you go, in mind. Uh, if you like this episode, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't like it, leave a dislike. It doesn't hurt my feelings that much. Um, also, if you guys want a, a particular episode for next episode, let me know. Um, I've usually got these planned ahead quite far, but if if you get your suggestions in quick, I might be able to do it, you know, four or five. Um, yeah, so, you know, stick around. Leave a leave a little subscribe. Hit the bell. Or don't hit the bell. I don't, I don't really, I don't really know what the bell does, but, you know, people say to hit it, so do it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. As always, peace out.